Hey there guys, I just wanted to do a little quick uh, vlog. I don't know how quick it's going to be, but I'm going to do a vlog anyway. Um, it's just about a quarter after eight in the morning. Just got off work a little while ago. Um, probably not going to be doing too many beer reviews in the near future. Uh, I mean, if something new pops up, I will do a beer review, but basically I'm at the point again where I've uh, ran out of, basically ran out of beers to do, right? So I'm going to cut back on that, and coincidentally, um, it's a happy coincidence because uh, I'm going to, I was planning on cutting back on drinking beer anyway a bit for a couple months. Um, just not have as many as I usually do during the week, which isn't all that much really, but uh, just going to cut back a bit. Um, so, of course, the booze review side of my channel is going to perk up a bit. And I've got two uh, already that I'm getting ready to do. Um, basically, I've been sifting through my requests. Um, I picked up two bottles of whiskey yesterday and they're going to be my next two reviews uh... first one a request from one of my subscribers gibson's finest twelve uh... age twelve years canadian whiskey so we're going to be doing that one I already took a smell of it, it smells really good uh... and another one's just a real I guess almost a generic Canadian whiskey, uh, Canadian Club Premium, but this was requested as well, so I'm going to be doing that one. This is one of those ones that <laughs> I used to drink when I was a teenager. You get one of these uh, for cheap and you can share it with your buddy. Have a good night out, um, because generally Canadian whiskeys, I find, are a lot smoother. Uh, they, they sort of have the sort of flavor, same flavor qualities as like American bourbons, etc. But they're far more smooth. They're, they're smooth like uh, a scotch. A really nice scotch is smooth, right? So they're, they're Canadian whiskeys are pretty much world renowned for being the wet, best ones that you can mix with anything else, right? So those are going to be my next two reviews. Um, someone requested Hennessy Cognac. I'm going to do it. Um, I might wait till my next paycheck though. I went to look at the what what uh, types of Hennessy uh, cognac we have at the liquor store. We have two different types. The standard type and the special one. And the special one was $125, so I don't think I'm going to be buying that one. Um, but there is the regular one and that one is like 50 bucks. So uh, I I'm going to wait a while before I I pick that one up, but I will be doing it. Um, might also be doing the uh, one of my other subscribers, uh, Keen Under the Sea, a uh, long time subscriber actually. Uh, he requested, uh, I guess it's Absentee Absinthe or something along the lines. It's a, it's a fake brand of Absinthe. Uh, it doesn't have the wormwood in it. Um, I think I am going to pick that up eventually here, pretty soon. Uh, don't quote me on that though. Uh, yeah, so uh, basically I'm going to be focusing on booze reviews, probably going to be whiskey heavy. Um, leads me to a question, um, I haven't really, I haven't done any vodka reviews really, except for like one flavored vodka. Um, are there any vodkas out there that are worth picking up just to drink straight? Because I have like little to no experience with vodka as far as drinking it straight. I've always just bought it to mix with something else, right? And I have the general impression that uh, there's really not that much variety and complexity with vodkas. Now, if I'm incorrect, someone please inform me of that. Let me know, and I might endeavor to try a couple different vodkas down the line. Uh, but, you know, I, I just... I don't know that much about vodkas. I don't want to really jump in and buy a vodka that tastes like every other vodka, right? And be a little disappointed. So that's that. Um, I wanted to do, I guess, two quick shoutouts. Uh, this is one I forgot to do on my previous vlog. It was the it was the guy I forgot to do. Uh, that's Daniel, the Indosymbiosis. 
uh, does his uh, beer reviews. Uh, I really, really enjoy his reviews. Um, you can tell the guy really uh, knows his stuff and he really uh, thinks about the be ponders the beers he's drinking like just during the review itself he's he's really uh, really thinking about what he's drinking okay and he comes up with some interesting insights and observations and I find his reviews really really good uh, if you haven't checked them out you definitely should check them out uh, the the other one I want to point out is a character you may be familiar with, uh, if you watch uh, Dennis LD, Montreal Beer Reviews, um, he's popped up from time to time, Boris the Barbarian. Uh, I don't know the name of his channel right offhand, but he just recently started up a channel. I think he's got like one or two reviews up there, a uh, wine review or something like that. Um, I'll put down, I'll link all these channels, of course, but. Um, yeah, Boris the Barbarian, uh, incredibly entertaining guy. Um, he'll teach you how to survive. And um, yeah, you should watch his stuff. Uh, go on to his channel, tell him to make more videos. Force him, force him into making more videos. Um, and finally, uh, on the beer side of things in my in my life, uh, I am going to be. Although I'm not going to be buying like a lot of beer to drink. Uh, for the next couple months. I'm going to be stockpiling a few different things. Uh, I'm hoping to get a hold of a bunch more bottles of the Garrison Black IPA and I'm going to be picking some other odds and ends like for instance Picaroon's Best Bitter of course. Uh, I'll probably grab a few bottles of that. I'm going to try to grab some regional stuff that generally no one outside of this region would be able to get their hands on. Um, because I'm going to be, I'm interested in doing like some beer trades in the future here. Uh, I just want to put that out there right now that I want, I want to get my hands on a bottle of uh, Yorkshire Stingo. Uh, I'm very, very interested in trying this one out ever since I saw it get like 100 points in Draft Magazine. Uh, it's definitely piqued my interest. Um, so if anyone can get a hold of that and is interested, well, I, I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, I'm going to wait and see what beers I can get my hands on first for a, a decent trade. I realize this is like a, a really special beer. Um, so it would probably require me to, like uh, with Chad in his uh, West Veteran or West Volterran, uh, whatever the hell you call it, uh, he wanted people to like give him like a couple bottles of something in exchange for just the one bottle because it's such a rare beer and uh, that's perfectly understandable right so I'm thinking the same thing I'm going to try to stockpile a bunch of different interesting beers from this region and hopefully I'll do another video down the line showing what I got uh, and say here you go do you want to trade for uh, Yorkshire Stingo and uh, if you do, I've got the beers, I'm ready to trade, let's do it, right? So, yeah, that's it. I think that's about it, all, all I wanted to really say. Look out for the reviews coming really soon for the Gibson's Finest and the Canadian Club. And have a good day.